welcome to the show with everything you could ever want to make and do right, right at your, your fingertips. fingertips. I'm Tim. And I'm Naomi. And here's what's coming up on today's show. Transform some bog standard cooking ingredients into these relaxing bath cookies. Find out what Naomi can make in less than 60 seconds in today's One Minute Make. And we show you a new spin on the old favourite of Tiddlywinks with a game of Ruler Flipper. And for details of lots of great fingertips makes, you can check out our website, address at the end of the show. But first, the fingertips iced bin. It looks great, it's easy to make, and no one will ever guess it's actually a bin. Here's a top fingertips for you, and it looks just yummy. Mmm, look, a lovely iced bun with icing on the top and a cherry. Oh. Mmm, good enough to eat. Oh, hello. Hello. And just look at the size of it. <laughs> wow. If you had an ice bun that big, you'd be filled right up to bursting. Actually, the whole idea is that you fill it right up to bursting with your rubbish. That's right, because this iced bun is actually an iced bin. And it's really easy to make, so we've given it a fingertips difficulty rating of... a tummy tingling too. Yummy. To make a bun, you need a bin like one of these, with a rounded lid on top. You can get these very cheaply from most DIY stores. Remove the lid and put it to one side, as you're going to need that a little bit later on. Now, at the top of these bins, you might notice that there's often a bit of a lip around the edge, and you want to smooth this down so there's no ridge. To do this, get some newspaper and simply tape it into position. Do this all the way around the top of your bin. Now you want to papier-mâché over the top. So get yourself some tissue paper and some PVA glue and get pasting. When that's done and it's dried, it'll look like this, nice and smooth down the sides. And now you're ready to make the raised bit of your bun. For that, you need to get the lid back and we need to make this even more rounded on the top. So again, as you did before, tape on some scrunched up pieces of newspaper Oops. with some tape like that. And you can make this as rounded as you want your bun to look. And then paper mache over the top of this newspaper with kitchen tissue pieces. And you should get this. You should now have your basic iced bin. It's time to add some colour. For this bottom section, I'm going to use some of this really great brown parcel paper. It's really cheap, you can get it in most stationers and it comes in rolls about a metre wide. Now for the fun part, you need to cover your bin in PVA glue, lots of it. And you literally need to cover the entire bin, but for time, I'm just going to do some stripes. Use lots of glue and it doesn't matter if you get it on the paper as well, because that's what you're going to be sticking to the bin in just a moment. Once you've got lots of glue, you just need to roll the bin in the paper like this. And don't worry if the paper wrinkles and crinkles a bit as you roll it up, because that all adds to the texture. Now you need to cut off the excess paper at the top and bottom. But for time, I'm just going to scrumple mine up at the bottom and push the excess paper at the top inside. And once that's done, you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Next, you need the equivalent of one of these. It's a paper bun case, but you need to make a giant-sized one. So, tape together some pieces of white paper or card so you get a big long strip that's about two metres long and about 30 centimetres wide. Now, you've got to concertina fold this strip, folding over and then under. Do that again. Over and under and keep going all the way along until you've done the whole strip. And it'll look something like this, nice and zigzaggy. So lay it like this and then place your bin upside down in the middle. And now you need to use pieces of masking tape to fix this to the base of the bin. Slide it up there, stick that on. Now this can be a bit tricky, but take your time, go all the way around it. And once you've taped it in place, it'll look a bit like that. So, that's the bottom of the cake done. Now it's time for the icing. All you need to do is paint it a pale pink icing colour, and you may need two or three layers of paint just to get it looking really, really nice. And now, of course, all you need to do is add a final cherry to the top of the cake. And for this, you need one of these, a polystyrene craft ball. 
just paint it a really nice rich red colour and then stick it onto the top of the lid and you'll end up with something like this. Now it's just time to add the icing to the cake. There you go. Oh, scrumptious, a lovely giant iced bun. Mm. Mm, actually, it's, uh, it's an iced bin. Yeah, OK, an iced bin. Uh, and just look at the other ways you can ice a bin. How about this butterfly cake bin that's topped with whipped cream and a strawberry? Mm. Or a mint bin, and that's got painted polystyrene hundreds and thousands stuck on top. Or what about this little ice bin made with a smaller plastic container? Oh, these ice bins are really easy, so have a go. <laughs> Some might say they're a, a piece of cake. <laughs> Good one. This is Makeover Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you how to make something by recycling stuff you'll probably find lying around your home. So, what about this lot? Some brown soap shavings, eggs, baking soda, corn flour, sea salt and almond oil. Well, with a little bit of fingertips know-how, I'm going to be showing you how to transform these into these deliciously delectable fingertips bath cookies. They make great gifts for members of the family or friends, or why not give yourself a treat and create a luxurious bath after a tough day at school? And we give bath cookies a fingertips difficulty rating of... one. So why not give it a go yourself? To make about a dozen cookies, put all your ingredients together in a bowl. That's two cups of sea salt, half a cup of baking soda, half a cup of corn flour, two tablespoons of almond oil, which you can get from any supermarket, and two eggs. When you've done that, mix everything together in the bowl with a wooden spoon until your mixture looks like this. Next, take a baking tray and grease it lightly with some margarine or oil. Then roll your mixture into balls or patties using the palm of your hand and place them on the tray, patting down as you go. Bake your bath cookies in a preheated oven at gas mark 4 or 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. And when they come out of the oven, they'll look like this. Finally, when your bath cookies are cool, sprinkle on some brown soap shavings to give them authentic looking chocolate chips. And here they are, ready to drop into a nice relaxing bath. And of course you can experiment with the look of your cookies by adding some food dye into the mixture or by presenting them in these lovely gift boxes. They look great, don't they? So why not give it a go yourself and cook up your very own fingertips bath cookies? Just make sure you put them in your bath and not in your mouth. Got a minute? Because this is the part of the programme where we show you something which will take under a minute to make using odds and ends from around the house. Today it's my turn to make. And it's my turn to time. And this is all it's going to take. As ever, we're not going to tell you quite what it is, so see if you can work it out along the way. Naomi, are you ready? Yes, I am ready, and I'll tell you what, Tim, this is going to be a top fingertips accessory. Is that a clue? Yeah, and if I don't get it done in a minute, I will be making a swift exit. OK. Uh, three, two, one, go! Right, first of all, I need some foam and scissors. I've got to make two circles of foam, so I'll do them together. One Five piece seconds. of foam on top of the other. Cut a nice big circle out. And this circle needs to be about the same width as my shower gel container, which I've got over there. I'll show you that in a minute. 15 seconds gone. Right, that's not too bad. <laughs> make it a bit neater than this. Uh, then you need to cut out about a third from one of the circles. Like that. Get rid of that 25 bit. seconds now, gone. On the whole circle, you see some writing. It's quite difficult to write on foam. Right, come in yeah, on over one the side. Halfway point. How long left? 25 seconds now. Stay away on this side. Oh, charming. Oh, hang on. I've written that wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> Never mind. That says stay away. And then take a drawing pin, put the two circles that... Coming to the ten-second point. On the whole one. Ten. No! Nine. Now yes, push the drawing eight, pin through both seven, circles of the Six. Into the shower gel. Five. Clean up. Four. Three. Uh, stop the clock. Two. Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty close. Did but it? you've done it in 58 seconds. Yes. Um, what is it? It's a fingertips door decider. 
a fingertips what? A door decider. You simply hang it on your door and then you can swivel the top circle of foam around. If it's fine for people to come in, you can say come in. Or if you don't want them to enter, turn it around, say stay away. That's brilliant. <laughs> and you don't have to stop there. If you've got a bit longer than a minute, you can make them a bit more fancy. How about making one like this? A princess glamorous door decider and we've covered that one with shiny sequins or a brightly coloured door decider encrusted with buttons of all different sizes. Or even stick on some stars and make one that's completely out of this world. So get yourself an empty shower gel container and transform it into one of these brilliant fingertips door deciders in under a minute. And you'll never have to bother with unwanted visitors again. Naomi? Naomi? Charming. This is Fun Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you something that's fun to make and fun to play. Oh! Ooh. This is the Fingertips Ruler Flipper game. It's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> to play the game, you simply divide out your tiddlywinks into different colours between as many players as you wish to take part. Oh. Then take a tiddlywink, put it on the end of your ruler and flip or catapult it towards that toilet roll centre target. Okay. Oh, oh. okay, place the tiddlywink, aim and flip. Now, oh. the winner, of course, is the person that gets the most tiddlywinks inside the centre target. And the great thing is, it's movable, so you can pick it up, collect your tiddlywinks, and you're ready to start all over again. And we get the ruler flipper game, the fingertips difficulty rating of just one. So, no excuse not to have a go. Start by taking a cardboard box and you need to find where the centre is. Now, the easiest way to do this is to draw two lines along the bottom from corner to corner. And where the lines cross, that's your centre. So take a cardboard tube, place that right in the middle and that's going to catch your tiddlywinks. Next, you need to draw a line at the end of your box, the same width as a ruler. So use your ruler as a guide to help you do this. Do the same thing at the other end of your box and where those lines are, you need to cut out a ruler-sized slit. And when you've done that, it should look something like this one. Let's check and see if that works. Perfect fit. And you can see we've also cut out some castellations, we've added some loo roll turrets and even made some cone spires. Now, you could just leave your box like that or you could decorate it like this one. We've added some fun foam walkways in the centre, some paint, brickwork and vine effects. We've also added some paper to the tops of the spires along with these little flags. They're great, aren't they? Now, when you decorate the inside of your courtyard, just make sure you do it around the central turret, like that. Now it's just time to add your rulers through the slits at the end of your box. There's that one. And this one goes in next. And there I am, ready to play. All I need now is my ruler flipper opponent. Uh, let's have a go. Tilly Weeks is set. Right, let's play. <laughs> it's survival of the flippest. Quick, me first. Oh, oh. close. Oh. 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 oh, yes! Flipping egg, you're good at this. Oh, that's a flipping bad joke. <laughs> Have some fingertips fun, flipping tiddlywinks oh. with a ruler. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to check out the Fingertips website. The address is on the screen now. And we'll see you again very soon for more... Fingertips! Bye! Bye.